going to show you an example of an advanced order placement on Thinkorswim, TOS, the TD Ameritrade platform. I want you to start thinking about how to instill more discipline into your trading strategies, which allows you to compete head to head with the algorithms and other computer programs that are out there competing with you. As you can see, I have three buy orders and three sell orders in the market. And now what I'm going to do is walk you through how I place these orders in here. But the way I've done them is they will get executed in sequence. So I'll never be exposed to the risk of more than one call. So every time the market goes down, I'm going to buy a 10 call. Every time it rallies, I'm going to sell an 11 call for more money than what I paid for the 10 call. So I'm going to lock in a small profit and take all my risk off the table and still have a chance to make 10 times. And I'll make 10 times if the stock closes where? Above 11 by Friday of this week. And this stock obviously was trading at 20. The short interest in there is over 100%. Very easy for this to get a major squeeze, short squeeze in here. So that's what we're going to show you today is how to do contingent orders in TOS to automate your trading strategies. So let's go. So here's an example of how we can set ourselves up for GameStop next week. We know this short position in the stock is over 100%. So there's likely to be short squeezes from time to time. So how could we limit our risk, but be able to participate in some form of volatility that might occur in there? And one way we can do this is we could look at where the stock's trading. The 10 strike is 63.64. The stock may open lower on the open. It's actually trading lower after the close. If the stock drops, there could be a chance for us to buy those for cheap, maybe 40 cents. What we want to do is when we enter our order for 40 cents, we want to do first triggers a sequence. Okay, because this is going to allow us to put in another order. And what we're going to want to do is if we get the 10 call for 40 cents and we get back to where we closed, then I want to sell the 11 call for 42 cents. So that means I'll make a small profit and it will allow me to make another hundred dollars if the stock closes above 11 by the end of the week now after i've done that trade the stock may come back down again if it does then i'll probably want to go back in and buy it again this time let's just say it doesn't get all the way down to 40. it may only get down to 45 who knows i'm just guessing and then if that happens i'm going to want to take profits at say 46. okay and then if that happens then I'll go back in again, but this time, instead of 45, we may only get down to say 50. And if that happens, then I may want to hold out and just get 50. If I do that and I click submit, first I'm gonna buy on open, and then I'm gonna sell the 11 strike as an open trade as a call vertical. If I get filled, then I'm going to put an order in to go back and buy again at 45 cents if the stock comes down a bit. And if that happens and it rallies up, then I'm going to sell another 11 call. And if that happens, I'll go back in and buy again at 50 cents instead of 45 or 40. And then I'll just try to break even on the upside if this thing shoots up. Now, why, why would I go back and forth like that instead of just buying a bunch of calls and then selling some other ones? because we, we don't know where the market's going. So by putting that order in like that, I've now set myself up where my risk is never more than $50. But if the market continues to fluctuate around, I can continue to put trades on without even looking at it. So each order is waiting for the previous order before I get filled. Does that make sense? So this is a way where my risk will never be more than $50. But if the stock moves down and up, back and forth, I'll have orders waiting to lock in profits or take risk off the table. And then if it comes back down, I'll get long again. So we'll just keep going back and forth. Imagine if you do that with like 10 stocks and they all just start bouncing around and you've got all these orders getting filled, but you've managed your risk at order entry. So you're never going to lose more than that one contract. But by the end of the day, you might have 10, 20, 50, 100 contracts on, but your risk is still zero. So think about that for a little bit, but this is where as investors we need to get to. We need to move away from 
I'm going to sit here and click with the mouse and decide I want to buy, and then I'm going to watch the screen, and then I'm going to wait for it to do something, and then I'm going to react to it. That is a failed strategy. It doesn't work. So you need to come up with discipline around your approach, and you need to compete with the algorithms, and you do that by putting in conditional orders. Now, this is a very basic order I'm sharing with you. Well, we'll leave it at that. So good luck. Thank <music> you.